Hello, this is Marshally and welcome to my garden diary. Today is the 4th of July and I just wanted to do a short video on my strawberry patch uh, that I um, transplanted in October, I think it was. I did a video on that so you could look at that. I think it's in the playlist with edibles. So yeah, we have started eating strawberry. Uh, I think Monday, since Monday, I've been able to pick strawberry every other day. And now that the days are getting warmer, uh, then I will have to come out and pick every day. So yeah. So um, yeah, I have to cover it up with a net like that so that the birds don't get into it. And I use straw so that the snails don't crawl into it and eat up everything. But even though I did that, um, uh, ants have been eaten and enjoying. So we had to throw away some because of ants. And I think the birds still got in because uh, right there, there's one that has been eaten up. Yeah, that one, I wish somebody or something has um, been enjoying that but that's okay we don't mind sharing what we have uh, with yeah with all the insects and as long as they leave some for us so I think I'll be able to get quite a bit from here and I think I had one two three four five five ten fifteen twenty five plants I had planted out here and yeah, we are reaping and enjoying that. So that's going to be it for this part of the video. And I'll add another video sometime this week to this one. Okay, so this is me again, and it is not a couple of days later. I just wanted to film this because I was so surprised that I picked so much. I thought that this little container here that I had would be big enough for whatever is here. But I am just surprised by I was so much that I had an overflow. <laughs> so yeah, uh, strawberry plants are easy and they do give back. Uh, one thing I want to say is that um, when I water them, I water them in the mornings uh, because I don't want the strawberries to be sitting in water overnight or for too long because, you know, they're quite sensitive. They get spoiled easily. And um, yeah, so I water, I water the plants in the morning. But yeah, much more than I thought or imagined. Okay, so now I'll see you in another day. Bye. Okay, so today is the 5th and I've decided to take you with me on my walk. This is where I walk every day. And this year there is a poppy field. So if you've been watching my videos, you know that I live in a farming area and every year they plant different things. And this year they have decided to not plant anything at this field and to plant it with poppies and uh, corn flower. So the poppies are more dominant. So, but there are purple corn flowers in there. Look at that. It is so beautiful. I can't believe that I just get to see this for free and I walk here every day. And every day uh, when it has gotten warmer, so every day it's getting redder. <laughs> And yeah, it's just such a joy to walk here. So I thought that I would, um, I would share this with you. I, I like walking. So usually, yeah, I, I live in an area where it's quite a lot of nature, but this is just extra for me and I'm really enjoying it. So yeah, this is Poppy Field on um, my way. It's also on the other side, but the other side isn't as colorful as this side yeah so that's isn't that beautiful love it i really love it well i hope that some of this love can come over to you and that you 
yeah you enjoy this video and you enjoy these colors and yeah let's, let's see if i have anything to film tomorrow and add it to uh to this video and wherever you are i hope you're having a great day bye so hello uh today is the sixth and yeah i'm working in the garden as usual uh, usually I um, try to work at least an hour in the garden every day um, except Sundays if I don't feel like but I still do something in the garden if the weather is good and I'm outside you, I always find something to do uh, so everything is happening so fast I want to really be respectful of your time and not upload too many videos but the garden is it's 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 like a miracle like things are changing so fast that if i am not witnessing if i haven't seen all of this for myself nobody can explain to me or i can't explain to anyone how fast the garden changed from day to day uh, because just a couple of days ago um i i'm going to walk around and show you some of the things because my heart is so filled like that's why I really like, no, not like, I love gardening because when I garden, um, when I do gardening, uh, my life is reflects the garden. There is no time to be sad. I am very positive. I um, see things differently. The world is different because if things can grow like this and things are so beautiful, then there's absolutely no reason to get too down on myself or to get too sad so yeah the roses there are coming out last year it did very very well this year it has started with a bang because that those just spring or sprang open like yesterday today like it's just crazy the honeysuckle behind that is also doing amazingly well um, so yeah, but what I want to work on right now is the autumn um, crocus and here I am going to pull quite a few of these up and transplant them in pots and other places and why am I doing that? I'll just show you if I can not try to not step. So ah, the autumn crocus. So in a another video i think i explained how these work right now there are um, lots of green but that will die back i'll show you one that is al already dying back and then in about september these really really nice blooms will come but uh, these i have to move them because that right there is a baby's breath and the one, the crocus that I just pulled up, the baby's breath is going to cover all of it. So by the time September comes and that blooms, I will not be able to see the blooms. And the same thing for this one, the baby's breath will come all the way and cover that one there. And, and then there are some crocus there. And in between, there is a lavender that will get big and needs space. So I am going to take up those so that the lavender will um, have space. And then there's another plant there. So quite a lot is going on. So I'm going to take out all of these crocus and then give the other plants space. Um, and I have to do it now while they are still green because in a couple of weeks, all the green will have died back and then I don't, I won't know where where they are so those I'm going to take out here is another one uh, that I need to take out because it's just or a couple because the plants are getting larger and they're just being covered up and as you can imagine if they're covered up right now when the blooms come in September I won't be able to see any of that so all of those I'm going to take out those as well I'm going to take up these that one there, I'll let stay. That one there, I'll let stay. I'll let that one stay as well. But uh, these here, um, I'm going to take out because, um, yeah, the 
uh, the bell flowers are doing exactly what I want them to do. They're spreading out. And uh, by the time September comes, the bell flower the, will, has, will have taken over that space. And I, I, I don't want the crocus to be there anymore. So yeah, that's, <laughs> that's the plan. I'm going to take up all of, all of those that I have mentioned. And so where am I going to put some, um, these here, I'll, I'll let stay. These are all so crocus. That one that is under there, I'm going to take up because I won't see it as well in September. And yeah, so quite a bit to do. And where am I going to put those? I have already started. I have, I'm going to put some right there. I have one pot there. Of course, that pot is not going to be enough for all the different ones that I have identified. So I might have to do maybe another, another or maybe even two pots. And so uh, I think they will do well in pots because of the big um, bulbs that they have. And also, um, yeah, I, I think they will be um, good in pots. So I am going to um, pull those up and then I'll just give, let you see what this hair will look like without the crocus. It will make such a huge difference uh, when the crocus are not there because then uh, the bell flowers and the roses, which will be open in, in another day or two, um, will be more in the highlight and then, yeah, that should be okay. Uh, and I, the other baby's breath is there. It's growing very well. And around it, those are um, gladiolis. And the whole idea is that the baby's breath will cover the grad, grad gladiolis, but the gladiolis will um, grow through the baby's breath. And because the gladiolis are so vertical, uh, then we will have the baby breath, which is sprawling and more horizontal. Um, then we'll have a vertical and horizontal play going on. I'm really looking forward to seeing how, if, if it turns out the way I have it in my head, uh, with the white baby's breath and the gladioli with the different colors. So yeah, so I'm really trying to make these videos short. Uh, I'll, um, I'll just come back in a short moment and show you what this looks like and then I'm going to upload this video sometime this week. Okay, so I have finished taking out most of the crocus that I wanted to. And I was so surprised with what I found out. But, but before I get to that, so this is where the space that, um, yeah, that the others was. And as you can see, uh, I, I think it looks so much better without that being there. And um, last, I don't remember when it was, I think it was September or so, I had planted that lavender the, there. And uh, that will give it more space. So we'll have some purple lavender there. It's already started blooming. And I think because the caucus was there, you, I could have hardly seen the lavender. And then the bell flowers there, I can see it more. And then uh, the next couple of weeks, it will fill out the space that is there. So that will come on quite well. So yeah. And then where the others were here, now I can see my little lavender. I need to give it some water. Now it can breathe. Uh, so uh, that should also start doing well. Uh, know that it has more space and as I said the baby's breath will come all the way over to there and cover that space so I just really want to show you this I as I said in one of my other video but I'll say it again I did not plant this uh, plant in my garden I just discovered it and I am just surprised like the bulbs are huge so this is one pot and I got so many bulbs. I didn't know that there were so many there. And I was able to, I'm going to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight huge bulbs. Look how huge those bulbs are. And then I have so many bulbs here. I think I, at least two more pots. So those I need to plant out. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what they will look like in pots. 
here this is just full of bulbs as well and I'm just really surprised at um, how how big the bulbs are like look at this <laughs> look at and I am not even yeah crazy crazy and this is where I planted three only three I could get in there because I had already planted some daffodils here and it's good that I I had let the um, leaves stay so I know where what is because if not then I might have double planted and dig up stuff again so yeah um i'm going to finish this up and i'll keep you updated this is the one that is dying back the leaves are dying back here already and that one there that i wanted to take out i i'm not i'm, I'm not going to bother i'm just going to leave it there because i have so many plants and whether i see that one there or not it it's it's it's, it's it doesn't matter so um this video will be a little bit longer than usual but I hope that you have watched it to this point I really enjoy working in the garden and I hope that wherever you are that you have a little garden that you can work in or a huge one and that it gives you as much pleasure as it does me and also um, not only pleasure but it, it it's such an encouragement and uh, it's such an inspiration when I see plants growing and thriving. I also feel like I'm growing and thriving and I hope that you are having the same experiences uh, in your garden. Okay, that's going to be it for this video. And yeah, there are three different videos that I'm putting, that I have put together with this. And I think as much as possible, I will use that kind of format so that I am not um, uploading too many videos and uh, I think yesterday, not I think uh, yesterday in the last video with the poppy field, I said that this year they didn't plant anything in the field, but they obviously planted poppies. Um, but that is, um, uh, they usually, that's rest for the field. So they are, they plant poppies just to rest the field. And next year they will plant, I don't know, wheat or barley or maybe even canola. Uh, yeah, but they uh, use that as a method of resting the fields. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Bye.